So we got another TV here out of that TV haul we did recently. Yeah, the final third one of the three big bags. And so now we've got samples. Left. Yes, there are samples. Hong Yin Ripened Pu'er Tea Mini Cake. So oh. this is going to be little cakes of tea. I always forget which way this goes. Got a little zipper there. This little paper thing is both a blessing and a curse. So you rip that open and then it's resealable. Even though these are sealed on their own. Like a Ziploc bag. Ooh. What do we got? Close your eyes. There. That's kind of cool looking. It's the shape of a wheel on a motorcycle. And it's got your words on it that we don't read. And a picture of the TV flower. It looks like a mini pour cake. Mm -hmm. Only logical. And they folded it with tight little pleats. Show them the little tight pleats. I'm trying not to break the little tight pleats. But a few of the, a few of the little tight pleats are ripped. But Now they can see it. They took a little disc of paper and folded it ever so intricately. To make us a tiny cake of pu'er. Now this... This one need to be chopped. All right, now we have some fun chopping it up. Also, while out today, we got me two different music books. Emma's going to be a color tourist. She's going to sing the really high notes. So, so we, we got me a warm up book for one thing. Yep. You can do little scales that gradually ascend. Warming up is always a very important thing because if I don't warm up, I can't actually get as high as if I do warm up. Right. These are muscles in your voice. You pour off the first rinsing. This is where the silt is removed and where the leaves are warm so they can open up because that first rinsing is not going to taste like much. Papa is Mmm, no, oh, I like this one. Mm. It's already dark and lovely. Mm. Ooh, it smells good. Yes, it already smells good. Ooh. Out of the ones... Mm. Very dark. Oh, that is delicious. Out of the ones we've tried this round, this is already my favorite. More than the $200 one. It was delicate and sweet. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Right away, got that lovely pu'er mustiness that it's supposed to have from being wet piled. This is going to sound strange, but marshmallowy. Mm-hmm. Like the... F this is going to sound even weirder, the fluffiness. Mm-hmm. It's fluffy. <laughs> they talk about tea having body. Ours is fluffy. fluffy. When you make s'mores, you heat up marshmallows with chocolate, and that's... It's I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you gave Uncle Chris those instructions. <laughs> it likes s'mores. My uncle um, occasionally pretends that he doesn't know how to do things. So when we were in Oklahoma a few when we were in Oklahoma <laughs> when we were in Oklahoma a few years ago, um, uh, my cousin and I were outside at their old house um, at the fire, about to make a s'more, and Uncle Chris comes over and he says, "Now how do you make a s'more?" And he goes on with this bit for several s'mores. The Socratic method of teaching. Ask a question and get your student to answer it. I am loving this one. <gasps> Let's smell the, wet, uh, the dry leaf. The, the wet leaf. Blech. Let's smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good one. There's more. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say smoky, and people are going to think they're getting s'mores. It's not actually a s'more, but it's marshmallowy and smoky and... It has the burnt sugar. Burnt sugar. Burnt sugar. It, it has the smell of burnt sugar, which mm -hmm. is commonly associated with my, like marshmallows, uh, caramel, um, hard ca sugar candies, stuff like that. It smells like that. Don't worry, I don't eat sugar anymore, and this is perfect. I still eat sugar, and I also like it. This may be my favorite TV that we've had. Ever? Possibly. What would be the second? I like my first one. The one that you got for your birthday? Yeah. Although you realize that's... Be favoritism. Yeah, that's sentimentality there. I'm not very sentimental, but my things... Sometimes I like them. This is the winner, folks. Now, the other ones that we've been doing, little mini bricks and little mini crackers, you yeah, really had to put two in to get enough not, well, for flavor. Well, not the brick, but yeah, the cracker was is, is bland. But when we put two in, it wasn't bad. So that was just a matter of volume. Yeah. This one is perfect for the amount of water you're using. And we'll get richer. Mm -hmm. But we won't belabor it. It's just delicious. And until we see you again, make sure to make time for teaching a good book.